about peptides. Yeah, so peptides are getting a lot of interest now. Yeah, um, BPC-157 so, is all the rage. It is. So um, peptides are just small strings of amino acids. They can act as hormones. So a hormone is a molecule that would release in one point in the body and goes and acts on a bunch of other areas of the body. There's like testosterone doesn't do one thing. It does many, many things. So it acts kind of, as we say, systemically. Peptides can act as hormones. So uh, melanotan obviously changes the skin, changes libido, all sorts of things. There are peptides like GP157, gastric peptide 157. This is a peptide that is naturally made by the body, but people have synthesized and turned into a compound that they take and inject that does seem to have the ability to repair damaged tissues of various kinds. It mimics some of the downstream effects of growth hormone. Things like GP157 definitely do accelerate the healing of an injury and there's no question about that. That's and interesting so, because I talked to a doctor and he was trying to tell me that it didn't work. And he was saying if you even inject a saline into an area, it will alleviate some pain. And I was like, I don't think you're right. Yeah, but this is like the TRT discussion or the steroids com conversation 20 years ago where people say, do they really work? I mean, people- yeah, this it, guy was very it, incredulous. I mean, yeah. the, when I was listening to this guy talk about it, I was like, listen, I've used it myself. And I had a, a tendonitis in my elbow that I just could not fix. Yeah. I started using BPC-157. It was gone in two weeks. Yeah. yeah. You have what are called secretagogues. It sounds like synagogue, but secretagogue, mm -hmm. yeah. which is basically a hormone stimulating hormone. So growth hormone, as we know, various people use aids in it. Growth hormone really ca uh, causes metabolism and repair. That's really what it controls. It also increases metabolism, burns fat, et cetera. You heal faster. But there's growth hormone releasing hormone, and those go under the names like hypomorlin, tessamorlin, uh, things of that sort. And now there are a lot of people who are taking those peptides in order to stimulate their more growth hormone as opposed to taking growth hormone directly. Mm -hmm. They stimulate more hormones. Are those effective? Well, they absolutely work. Whoa, the way you said that's scary. Yeah, they, Wasn't it scary? They absolutely work. Things like tessamorlin, hypomorlin. Yeah. Absolutely. They'll cause you to release more growth hormone, you burn fat, you recover quicker, mm. you all, all the all the stuff. Right. And things like sermorelin, which is another growth hormone secreting peptide, these you know, there are ten or twenty of these things that can promote the release of these different hormones. And it actually was a popular diet a few years ago where people were given sermorelin and told to go on very low calorie diets and because of the way growth hormone can pr uh, preserve muscle and kill appetite, people were losing weight. And so um, in Hollywood, peptides are really big because they, unlike steroids, unlike hormones, peptides don't scare uh, the category of people in Hollywood who don't want to put on muscle. Um, let's just say it's big with the ladies. They're big because it keeps your appetite down, you burn fat. So everything what if you have grows. cartilage problems, yeah. like with your knees, would that help heal them? Uh, it likely would. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. 